Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode in Radiology. Today is going to be number 25. Uh, I'm just trying to stick to the upload schedule still, and yeah, let's get into it. This is the standard uh, way to read an x-ray, so if you want, just take a minute, uh, pause, or look into one of my other videos if you want to quickly understand more about how exactly this works. Also, I want to reiterate that we're continuing our fracture series currently. So we're going to be exploring the next compilation of that, essentially. So, this is a type of fracture. Now, I want you guys to take like 5 seconds, kind of look at the fracture itself, which is in the red circle, by the way. And kind of think to yourself, if you've ever seen, heard of it, or anything like that. And it's referred to as a green stick fracture. Now, this usually happens when there's a lot of stress on the bone, so it usually like bends or cracks one side. Though it doesn't like fully break apart, as you can see, it's like a very small indentation. And it's very common to see in children especially, because they have like softer bones, whereas adults have more developed, dense bones. So if we look at this uh, patient's arm over here, we can see these small little fractures going from one side of the bone. And it doesn't completely like take it in two or anything like that, it's just a small little indentation. And that's why you have to look very, very closely. Here's another example, and this one is actually from the leg. Um, this one's a little bit more visible, I would say. We can kind of see that right next to these calf muscles. See that uh, pretty sizable indentation? Although, this is still considered a green stick fracture because, again, it starts from uh, once, it's predominantly from one side of the bone, and it's probably due to stress. And when you uh, consult the patient and ask them what might have led to this, or were they doing anything risk aversive to their bones, it might kind of indicate that it could be, become a green stick fracture. Now, comparative to all the other fractures, a green stick one is relatively unserious in nature. Though, I mean, obviously all fractures can become serious if they're not treated accordingly and kind of the pain isn't managed. So a typical intervention or treatment would be obviously pain medication, so like pain medicine like ibuprofen or something like that along with possible casting or stenting. Though, since it's most predominantly found in kids, it kind of very easily heals over time. Um, now, as you go up to the adults and all that, it's obviously much harder for the bone to recover, so a little bit more intervention may be required. But it, generally, it's not very serious. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on radiology, and I'll see you on the next one about another type of fracture. Bye-bye.